Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's jump into it um, and start off with love for Pisces. Five cards for love. Okay, some of you are definitely solidifying some sort of union here in the form of the Four of Wands. Now, this is often seen as a marriage card or a long-term commitment, celebrating love or celebrating union. So some of you might have some sort of celebration coming in. could be an anniversary, a tradition um, that you might start to uh, explore with someone that you're seeing. There might be talks of marriage or even marriage proposals. Uh, coming in around you what i love is that the queen of cups is here and she often represents a lot of empathy and care um she's not the king but she, it's not like she can't represent a lot of love or falling in love okay the king is the ultimate um of the water realm but she is not far off and she there could be someone really falling for you or if this is you coming up as the queen of cups regardless of your gender pisces it could indicate that you've got the Holy Grail. You've got someone special coming in, someone of high value uh, that's coming in around you. It could be this intensity here. It could be first felt as an attraction and you might be a little bit defensive about the connection, but it can bring you a lot of happiness or there is a fire sign. You do have an Aries with the sun card here. So there could be a fire sign coming in offering you love um, or it might be someone you're going to really fall for. Um, if you're dealing with a water sign, you might see with the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Cups, uh, someone is going to realize your worth, okay? Maybe you've had a bit of distance. Maybe there's been obstacles. Uh, maybe you've, you've needed time to think or reflect or this person has needed time to think or reflect, but it's almost like a water sign could be coming around. Now, it might not even specifically be a water sign. It can be any sign, really, but it speaks of a growth and emotion and someone finally realizing what you mean to them. Um, missing you okay there could be a longing or a pining for you from someone uh, or it could be a pining of, from from you over someone else that could also be the case here um, but this is around marriage I think if for those out there that are married or in long-term commitments um, there's major milestones coming up there's marriage and children here um, and fertility has come up with the high priestess and also again with the sun card uh, but the sun is also individuality and working on the self, the sun being the middle of our solar system, you know, our mind, our goals, our dreams, putting our ego first. So um, there could be a situation here where you need to put yourself, your your needs um, first here, Pisces. And, you know, because you're very compassionate and, and when you really, truly care about people, whether it be loved ones or those you're in a relationship with, oftentimes you forget about your needs and you put their needs instead of you. Uh, you put their needs first instead of your own. But I feel like with the sun card, it's not selfishness, um, but it is about concentrating on the self and putting your needs first or being more receptive to what you want, your intuition, where the universe might be guiding you or at least where you feel it might be guiding you. So maybe there's a situation here where you need to be a little bit more selfish or put your needs first, okay? Um, and maybe this is not something you're used to doing. Maybe it's something you're just going to learn to do. There could be lessons tied in because the child here uh, needs experience, needs, needs that wisdom, doesn't have it yet, but needs to experience something that's going to help him grow and, and acknowledge what's happening around him. So this could be about the self or it could even be involving a fire sign, in particular the Aries. Now, you did have the Seven of Swords, which I think is some sort of obstacle here. Swords often represent mentality and communication. There might be someone that's keeping something from you um, or you might be keeping something from them because it's almost like he's thinking about something, he's doing something he knows is, is frowned upon um, or not necessarily be supported by his partner or by the people around him, yet he's going to do it anyway. Um, he's looking to the marriage card. So for some of you, it could be someone you're married with or someone you're in some sort of union with. You have a connection and it's almost a, an exclusive connection that you have with this person. And suddenly there's a shift that's taking place here. So they might be withholding a little bit of information from you. Remember I mentioned someone potentially having their guard up, you know, especially if they're displaying sort of defensive energy, which the seven of ones can be. Oftentimes when people are the most guilty, they're extra defensive about something. So 
And the fact that they're both sevens, there could be a connection between this sort of reaction or defensiveness slash resistance in, in coinciding with this seven of swords. It could even be an air sign that's keeping something from you, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, or if it's not, then it's some sort of information. Um, the good thing is with the Eight of Pentacles, there's, there's ability to work through something here. Um, this is all about focus and commitment and, and putting in, um, reaping what you sow, getting what you put in type thing. So it's all about action and somebody's actions are really going to prove something to you this month, uh, Pisces. Could definitely be an earth sign here, uh, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or there could be an earth sign that's really working hard for your attention. Um, maybe there might have been a marriage or a commitment that's, that's been having obstacles. And you might see someone change their behavior from that seven to the eight. And suddenly it's it's all about their behavior, not so much their words. But it's 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 a, it's a general consensus that consensus that actions speak louder than words. And if, if, if that's anything to go by, it's someone's behavior not so much their words, it's their behavior um, that really proves their loyalty, how, how committed they are, and all these sorts of things. It could also be a work romance coming through here, okay? There could be someone that you might be building an emotional connection with that you work with, um, or you have worked together. So um, might not necessarily be an earth sign, could be you, someone you know through the community or through work, or someone that you might even meet at an event, a celebration of some kind, um, but you potentially have been having premonitions about this person as well. That's also a possibility here. Let's move on and have a look at your career, however, and see what's going on here for some of you. What cards come up for your career, Pisces? Two angels and a wish that is fulfilled. This is quite powerful, Pisces. A lot of um, leaps and bounds happening in your career, potentially. Um, it's almost like something you've asked for from the universe. You know, oftentimes people personify the universe as angels and spirit guides. And um, if you're one of those people, it's something that you've asked for from the universe or from God or whatever it is that you believe in, Pisces. And it's almost like you're receiving something here because there's the receiving. It's happening here. And it could be that the universe is giving you something, an opportunity, a person, um, a wish. It's presenting you with something here that you've wanted. And it's almost like asking you shall receive, which is quite powerful. Um, Six of Pentacles could be an earth sign here, or it might be financial aid or help. Um, there might be someone coming to your aid in a project. There might be someone lending you money. The scales of justice can often indicate a contract or a large um, business agreement um, or a large organization, sponsorship, charity, and, and things of that nature here. It's also seen as generosity. So generosity could be coming in creatively, whether it's monetary generosity, donation of resources, donation of time, uh, and things like that from other people towards your projects or towards your business or the business that you're working for. Um, there could be a bit of this, but as much as the scales are balanced, there is a hierarchy here. There is a difference so I don't know if you're going to finally see that there's a bit of a hierarchy or uh, some sort of disassociation. And this is what could be met with resistance because it's fire energy. And fire has come up with Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card. Now, Sagittarius energy is quite outright and, and, and um, what you see is what you get. So I really feel like people's behaviors or the way things unfold... Um, discussions that you're making, deals that you're trying to get, investments. It's not so much that things are hidden. It's it's in fact that everything is out there in the open, pretty much clear as day. And in one way, you'll be able to gauge a lot from that um, and, and get the answers that you are seeking here because you've got the seven of cups, but you have nine. And nine is that wish fulfillment. Nine is receiving something that you've been asking for. Um, a lot of you are going to fulfill a wish that you've had maybe for the past nine weeks, nine months, even nine years, Pisces. Could be a groundbreaking month for you in terms of career, your creative pursuits. Absolutely. There could be, because the sign of um, Libra can represent the scales and the two of cups, there could be a union or a, a relationship here, a binding agreement, the black and the white coming together. And sometimes a judgment card can be seen as a contract. So that you might be teaming up with someone here. Either you've been wanting to work with this person, maybe creatively they're very like-minded to you. Maybe there's some sort of um, 
benefit they can offer you. It's a symbiotic relation relationship or, or union or contract where both parties will benefit or both parties will receive something that they're longing to receive from each other. So it's an, it's an equal exchange of goods or resources or ideas, which is really, really positive here, Pisces. So, um, but again, you know, the, 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 the two of cups twin flame energy comes with the temperance card. The temperance card is also patience, um, patience being a virtue. Uh, But I like, I, I do like what this represents. There could be some sort of heralding of news with the judgment card. Um, you can see this angel, it's blowing the trumpet. So it's almost like giving the green light and everyone's being accepting. Now, there could be something that you've put out there that will be accepted quite well. Um, someone will be very appreciative of your work or feedback or, or criticism or... Um, if you've been waiting on a review of some kind, Pisces, um, it's something that you've been waiting for for quite some time, you're going to get that review potentially. It's going to be met, you know, it's going to be embraced, okay? Uh, um, and perhaps for some of you, it's not met with resistance. It's the opposite. It's met with open-mindedness um, and acceptance. You also have the King of Cups here. Now, um, you did have the Queen in your love, and you've got the King in your career um passion and creativity could be tied into the king of cups yes he's got the royal regalia here much like she holds the holy grail he's got the royal regalia here um and he's really elevated to new heights because what's the likelihood of him being able to float on this on this um, body of water here so he's surpassing something he's reaching new heights and he's he's doing the unbelievable so, um, or, or attaining something he never thought possible. So for a lot of you Pisceans watching, there could be something that you're attaining that you didn't think possible either so quickly, um, or you didn't think possible ever, or it's just something that's almost otherworldly. Could be a bit of like fantasy and, and, and um, goal, you know, a bit of dreaming and, and, and fantasy. But like I said, it's all part of the creation process. So whatever it is that you're focusing about and giving your attention to, um, I, I, I do feel like it's a good sign uh, that things are happening at, uh, at quite a good pace here for you, um, but f definitely finding your passion or being elevated to kingly status could even be a promotion for some of you, and that could be the, the, um, the feedback that you receive from a probation or from a trial or even from a job interview if you've had one. Um, and then suddenly this person here is here wanting to accommodate you, wanting to be generous, offer you money or some sort of incentive to be a part of that project or to work for the company. Uh, so for a lot of you, it could definitely be that sort of um, promotion or elevation or, or, or acknowledgement, or praise or accreditation you've been waiting for. Uh, absolutely could be the case here as well with contracts flooding in for a lot of you, I think. So that's really quite positive. Thank you again for tuning in. It's been an absolute pleasure reading for you.